All right, trips, it's your day. I've been trying to convince myself not to film anything because as it is just now, I'm just going through the motions and I'm not actually filming anything that people are gonna want to watch. I know this is probably just me overthinking. There is a couple of things I want to film. I was gonna leave this for later on when I'm starting to get a bit more consistent, just to show that I'm actually getting results from it. As it stands just now, I don't know if I am. I think I am. This is something that was in a YouTube short by a guy called Fidel Gonzalez. It's a trick tip for, well, there's actually two. There was a front side 180 and a back side 180, but specifically the front side 180 one is what helped me. Although I kind of use it for both. You start off doing a revert and work your way up. You just kind of flick the tail a little bit more each time until you build yourself up to completely popping and sliding round the last little bit of the rotation. People say that that doesn't count, it's not a full 180, and to an extent that's true, but it is also a really helpful way to learn them because it gives you more control over the board and it teaches you to correct your rotation on the fly. So if you're not quite getting it all the way, then you can sort of make it work and you won't just lock up and go flying off your board. It's one thing that I've never really been able to do very well. It's my plan for today is to just muck about with that and see if I can get any better at that to the point that they'll actually help my 180s. board set up there because I've not ollied over a board or a block or anything like that in months and I need to get back to doing that like every session. Keep up my consistency, which I haven't tried it yet today, so I'm probably about to find out that it's completely gone after all that work to get consistent at it. consistent-ish front side one. I've never been able to do front side reverts so it's a step in the right direction. I'm also trying to work on keeping my weight centred over the board when I do a 180. It's quite often I'm leaning too far into it or I'm leaning too far one way or the other, I'm not staying centred, so that's probably why I'm struggling to uh, find my balance afterwards. pockets gives you good control over the board for doing reverts and like for staying on the ground keeping control over your wheels when you slide but it doesn't help for all in so I've got to try and adjust that put it together turn it into a 180 volley that's the other problem is my back foot always misses the board So what I'm trying to do just now is like a 90 ollie and revert the rest of the way. Uh, some might say that's cheating, maybe it is, I don't care. I find that to be the harder way to do it. The goal is to try and eventually turn that into like cabs or 360s or something with 360 anyway. I've tried it before without the slide, I could barely make it past the 180 but that might come with time. And with the slide, I might be able to get a 270, revert, and roll it away. So, I'm not going to bother trying to do that today, but it's one for the future.
Anyone ever tell spack one of it is an easy kick them in the nuts. Well, I'm not going to be rolling that away until I get the slide immediately as soon as I land. But it's a start. It's not getting any better of the day. Maybe next session, we'll see. Let's ollie over that. for the day. I'm sweaty and knackered. I'm off to get my lunch. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.